Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Happy Wednesday. I am going to Hawaii today. Technically, as you guys are watching this, I am on a plane to Hawaii. I'm going with Leah, Jessica, and Carrie, which if you are not following me on Instagram, I definitely recommend, which is alexsunshine 83 because I'll be posting updates and all that jazz on there. And I realized I had never really said anything on here about me going, and it wasn't necessarily intentional. It just kind of happened so fast. And I also realized that I've picked up some stuff for specifically Hawaii that I haven't shared with you guys. And also I went thrifting yesterday to thrift for a different video and got some more stuff. So I figured I would just kind of combine it all together. A lot of the stuff I'm gonna be taking with me to Hawaii. So it's almost like what I'm kind of packing for Hawaii as well. It's just gonna be a big old random thrift haul. So let's just get into all the stuff that I've gotten. There's a lot in here. I am definitely not proud of it. I've kind of mixed them up in different bags. So not all of them are specifically like from Savers. Some are from Plato's Closet. And the first thing is this shirt. This is definitely just like typical Hawaii touristy shirt. And I felt like I just needed to get one like super touristy shirt just to wear. And I don't know how I'm gonna wear it, but I just needed to get it. Someone had gotten mad at me because I called it a Hawaiian shirt. So we're just gonna call it a summery, floral beach shirt. This one is originally from a company called Sun Fusion and it was $6.99 and I got it in a large. I've been saying how much Hawaiian shirts have been at the thrift store. I mean, literally like $10 and up. So I was really excited to find one that was only $6.99. And I think it's different than the traditional type of floral shirt just because it has, you know, an island on it and the ocean. And I thought even if I put this over a bathing suit or even over a t-shirt or tank top or this with some shorts. I think it would be a cute look. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so I just put some mints in my mouth. So if I have a little bit of a lisp, that is why, but I don't know what's happening. I'm having like a cough attack and I need to start packing for Hawaii. So I gotta try to get through this video. Then I got this shirt from Plato's Closet. It's originally from Forever 21. It even still has the tag on there. It doesn't have the price on there though. And I got it for, boop, boop, boop. I got it for $13, which if you guys watched Sunday's video, I was talking about how I got this Forever 21 shirt from Plato's Closet for like $12. And so many of you said that you had gotten it like on sale for $5 at Forever 21. And oh, it's just one of those things that like really gets me because the thing is I'm still gonna buy it because I want to shop secondhand. And so even if it is less expensive at Forever 21, if I can get it secondhand and it's a little bit more expensive, I mean, I don't know where my point is with that. But anyway, I got this shirt. It's very similar to this shirt, but the sleeves actually stay. So it looks like this It's just a little crop top. It's made with a really breathable material. So I feel like even if we go to dinner or something, I can wear this and it has the puff sleeves and I really like the tie in the front. And the issue with these type of shirts I have is this like, I didn't even try to do that. It's super, super annoying. I need to get some like double-sided tape to tape on my body so this stays like that. This one fits absolutely perfect. The sleeves do not come down. They actually are a little bit tight. It does say it's a medium, but honestly, I feel like it fits like a small. It's exactly the style I've been looking for. I've been looking on like Poshmark for it and like thread up. I actually have the one I'm wearing right now on Poshmark. It's originally from Urban Outfitters and I think I got it for like $20 and I think Urban Outfitters sells it for like $30 and up. So. Even this is kind of a piece for the haul. Off track, this is a great shirt. I'm very happy about it. Going in line with that shirt is this shirt, which I think is still kind of fall. It just looks like this. It's this mustard colored crop top and it's got the bell sleeves and these do stay on my shoulders as well. I think it's because the elastic is on the actual part that goes on your shoulder. It's originally from Charlotte Roos. It is in a small and I got it for $10. Definitely been trying not to wear just Harley Davidson shirts all the time. So this is like one of those pieces that I'm really excited to wear. And I think it's just so adorable with a little tie. It can be fall and summer. The only thing is like, I sweat under my armpits pretty bad, just like all the time, every day every single second of the day. And these are quite light colors. That's the only thing that I'm like, oh, like wearing in Hawaii, I'm probably gonna even sweat on my back. I then got another kind of floral button up shirt. It's by a company called Caribbean Joe. It is in a 3X, which definitely does not look like a 3X. I got it for $2.99. Oh, I wasn't going to get like another one because I was like, how realistic is it for me to wear 
these shirts like other than going to Hawaii but I do still have one of the Hawaiian shirts I wore last year to Hawaii so I think I'll just collect them and then every time I go I'll just wear them not that I go all the time anyway again off track but with being only three dollars after all the Hawaiian shirts that I basically have seen I was really happy to find this one and it is also sleeveless which I think is really great because not really wanting to get a farmer's tan I'm really excited to wear it especially for only being three dollars then this one isn't for Hawaii I think I may bring it just because it seems like it would be really good in the rain, but it's probably gonna be really hot, so I probably won't. But I couldn't help myself. I had to get it. This was just so interesting that I couldn't help myself. I got it originally from Plato's Closet. It also has a Forever 21 tag on there. And before I say the price, I understand. It's a it's it's a little bit expensive for second hand, and I don't know how much Forever 21 was actually selling it for, but I got it for $18. It is in a 3X. To me, it more fits like a large, to be honest. It just is ah. Oh, the material is very interesting, it's very loud, but I feel like it would be perfect for the rain and I like that it's not cropped, which personally I have found it really difficult to find kind of the like fake leather leather jackets that aren't cropped. I just wanted one that was a little bit longer just because I think it really looks cute with the whole look. It's in really good condition. It fits really, really nice. This one, I mean, again, it's not necessarily for Hawaii, but I did pick it up when I was shopping for my Hawaii clothes. Just figured I would show you guys. <laughs> then this one I got from Savers and it was $8.49. Did not realize it was $8.49. It's originally from Zaffle. I think it's a shirt. I think I would have to wear a bralette or like a crop top, tank top with it, something because it is not going to cover up anything. It is very bright. Like it is a bright red right in your face. I really liked the style of it. it has, you know, the buttons right there. It kind of has the poofed out sleeves. It has a little like ruffle sleeve right there. I actually tried this on in Savers over my t-shirts and like this guy, cause it was in the guy section. I mean, this wasn't in the guy section, but I was in the guy section trying it on because there was a mirror right there. And this guy was just looking at me really weird because I had one of my Harley Davidson shirts. And then I tried to put this like over it. It was a look. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to take to Hawaii, but I really liked the style of it. And I thought it looked cool. It was $2 and 99 cents. And it is in a small originally from Charlotte Russe. And it kind of has the puff sleeves on there. And I just thought it would be really nice even tucked in with some jeans. I really like how it's silk on the buttons, which they aren't even really buttons. They kind of look like that, which are very similar to a corset style. It has an extra layer of fabric, which it doesn't do too much. I guess it just makes it so you can't see your bra. Next, I actually have a corset. I had never actually tried on a corset until last Sunday's video and oh man, I did not realize how tight they are, which makes sense because that's literally the whole entire point. And I know some people are kind of like iffy about going in the lingerie section of the thrift store and I have definitely become more comfortable with it. Actually from Best Dress has found some amazing like silk style dresses that are really slips, but they look like normal dresses and Urban Outfitters has a bunch of that that they're selling. I saw this corset and I was like, I have to get it. I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. A lot of them at the thrift store are strapless, which I feel like makes it a little bit hard to style because then it's like, it really looks like a corset because it is a corset. Anyway, this one does have straps and it's just this nice cream color. I just love this. It is in a large and I was trying to look for a medium, but I could only find the large. Obviously in the back, you're supposed to tighten it. So it actually fits perfect. It doesn't suffocate me and it doesn't make my boobs like non-existent like the one in Sundays did. It was $6.99, but it actually fits really nicely. And I really like the sleeves. I feel like that just makes it a little bit more wearable. Of course, it's debatable if it's actually wearable or not. Then from Plato's Closet, I got this shirt, which is originally from Express. It is in a medium and I got it for $10 and it's just this tank top. It has kind of like the outline of like the bustier like type style and okay I can't tell if it's dark blue or black So please tell me if you think this is black or dark blue It's a really interesting material and I just thought this was a really interesting piece then this one is definitely more fall I don't know if I'm gonna bring it with me to Hawaii. It was oh my god It's also originally from Charlotte Russe. How did I get so much stuff that is from Charlotte Russe? Did they come from the same home? Anyway, it is in a small and I got it for five dollars and forty nine cents. It's just this peplum plaid tank top and I think it's very like summer to fall transition piece. Definitely plaid is always really big for fall. It's literally like florals in spring and 549 like Oh, and then it has the like, what's this called? Shearing, shearing in the back. These next two pieces I got from Savers and they're both purses. The first purse I just felt like was perfect for Hawaii. Definitely, oh, there's 
this weird thing on there. How functional is this if I can only hold it like that? Like, it was $4.99 and it has a pretty good like amount of space in there. The only thing is it doesn't zip up, which is kind of frustrating. Um, oh wow, it's from Fossil. Wow. The only thing is it just kind of like looks kind of weird right now because it doesn't have anything in it. I feel like for so long, I was just so used to just taking my backpack everywhere, which love my backpack. I kind of feel like a teenager going to school with it sometimes. When I go thrifting, like that's fine. But when I'm like going to lunch or dinner and I got my backpack with me, like just feels kind of weird. So I'm trying to get more purses, which I got this one next. It's originally from Han Sack. I just really liked the colors and there's just so much space in here. Like you got the first zipper, then you got the second zipper, but like I could fit so much in there and it's a really nice crossbody. It was $4.99 as well. I think I'm gonna take it to Hawaii. I'm not sure yet, but if I don't, I feel like it's also a really great fall piece. I am so excited to wear these pieces in Hawaii and also wear them continued into fall. But if you guys like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me's, make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And like I said, I am in Hawaii. Well, I'm on the plane right now when you're watching this. In a couple hours, I'll be there. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter, Alex and Shane 83 to keep up to date with me. And I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new sunny Sunday video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!